This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIP SD key offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 20% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or Gcash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. Nagbabalik ang tech news. So welcome guys. Action here. Kumusta po lahat? I hope you're doing well. So... Tapos na ang CES 2023 and sobrang daming interesting na mga products ang mga na-announce during the event. AMD announced new processors and meron din tayong pricing and release date. Bagong monitor ni Samsung, new cases and systems by Cooler Master, highlights ni Deepcool, new products ni Asus at mga laptops ni MSI. As expected, inannounce na din ni AMD ang mga non-X versions ng mga Ryzen 7000 series CPUs nila sa CES 2023. So now meron na tayong Ryzen 9 7900, Ryzen 7 7700 at Ryzen 5 7600 which are all 65 watt CPUs. Available na din locally at 25,995 19,995 and 16,500 locally sa PC Hub. So bukod doon, inannounce na din ni AMD ang 16-core Ryzen 9 7950X 3D with 144 MB of cache, the 12-core Ryzen 9 7900X 3D with 140 MB of cache, and the 8-core Ryzen 7 7800X 3D with 104 MB cache. So the Ryzen 9 7900X 3D will retail for $599 and the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D for $699. So both ay ma-release this February 28, 2023. So the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D naman will retail for $400. $49 when it released sa April 6, 2023. So, punta lang matay sa gaming monitor. So, kung ultra-wide ang hanap nyo and gusto nyo mag-all out sa monitor, Samsung's new generation Odyssey Neo G9 looks very impressive. It's an ultra-wide monitor with 3840 by 2160 resolution. So, para ka na din nakadalawang 4K monitor. It has a 1000R curvature, 240Hz refresh rate and DisplayPort 2.1. Wala pang update sa local pricing pero most likely this will be more expensive than the Neo G9 from the previous generation that started at $1,099. Para naman sa mga sneakerheads dyan, nag-showcase si Cooler Master ng mga gaming rig featuring a showcase design. If gusto nyo naman ng mas unique, meron ding Shark Gaming PC that's also complete with RGB. Mukhang pre-built system ito binibenta ni Cooler Master and this will be available later this year. Pero so far, wala pa tayong update kung makakatitating ba dito sa Pilipinas ang mga systems na ito. If Mini ITX case naman ang hanap nyo, check out nyo tong Mini X. It's a Mini ITX case that features swappable panels sa lahat ng sides and kasha din ang current generation ng AMD and Nvidia graphics card. Kung tingin nyo naman, nagiging stale na ang mga gaming chairs ngayon, Cooler Masters Sync X features haptic feedback for that more immersive experience when you get real-time feedback sa mga games nyo. And saving for the best for last, gumawa si Cooler Master ng Ultimate Gaming and Workstation. Meet the Orb X. It brings the next level of immersion with its semi-closed space and automated motorized shuttle dome. Compatibility with a triple monitor setup, built-in surround sound, and an ergonomic recliner. So, sa side naman ni Deepcool. Manami ding bagong air coolers to cases. First on the list are air coolers ni Deepcool that features digital monitoring LCDs and ARGB lighting to show real-time CPU status. So, hindi ito yung mga customizable ones na pwede kang maglagay ng sarili mong mga GI apps. Pero compatible to with motherboards with ARGB headers. Na-feature din yung Assassin 4 na may 7 heat pipes and can support up to 280 watts TDP processors. Kung liquid cooling naman ang habol mo, itong LS520 SE Digital naman may digital screen para sa CPU and GPU status. Next naman, inline ang mga PSUs nila that support ATX 3.0 specification. So these are the PXG and PXP series that will be available starting at 850 watts up to 1200 watts na power. One of the most interesting din na pinakita ni Deepcool ay itong FT14 case fan nila. So this is a 140mm case fan that can also fit 120mm fan vents. So itong case is familiar sa akin. Quad Stellar also makes a comeback ngayon with the new Quad Stellar Infinity na pinakita ni Deepco sa event. It's an interesting case design that features a unique compartmentalized structure to give it that futuristic aesthetic. So medyo may kamahalan nga lang 
to $300. Siyempre, hindi nagpapatalaw sa ASUS. So, headlining ASUS ROG's lineup is the Strix Car 18. So, this is a massive laptop with an 18-inch Quad HD Nebula display. And it can be spec up to Core i9-13980HX and an RTX 4090 laptop GPU. So, nakapag-partner din sila sa AimLab para sa bago nilang mouse na ROG Harp Ace where they fine-tune the performance, weight, shape and texture. It's also very light at 54 grams and it also features Asus ROG aimpoint for the sensor. Gusto mo testing to. So may bago din sa lang keyboard. This is the ROG Azot or Azot, I don't know. So it's a wireless 75% featuring an OLED panel, a three-way knob and a side button. For the switches, this use factory lube ROG NX. It is also hot swappable and may included and then a DIY lubing kit para sa mga enthusiasts. So sa gaming monitor naman, the RG Swift Pro PG24 8QP can go up to 540Hz, what the F? It's a 24-inch monitor that features a TN panel, G-Sync, ergonomic stand with pop-out claws that can be retract for more desk space. Yan, sa side naman ni MSI, madaming mga laptops ang sinokay sa boot nila. First sa list ay ang Cyborg 15. So this is a brand new laptop with up to core i7-12650H CPU and RTX 4060 laptop GPU. So the Stealth Studio 40 naman is a studio certified and it's designed for creators with its 100% coverage of TCI-P3 color space and Quad HD Plus resolution. So the Riders GE78HX Smart Touchpad naman features a smart touchpad na pwede nyo i-customize para sa mga shortcuts and functions. Para naman sa mga naghanap ng magaan without the compromise sa performance. Nandito na din ang Prestige 13 EVO A13M that weighs only 900 grams. Ngayon kung performance talaga ang hanap nyo, itong Titan GT77HX13V is at the top ng laptop stack ni MSI ngayon. It features a 24-core Core i9-13980HX processor and up to RTX 4019 laptop for the graphics card. Maganda din ang 17.3-inch display with 4K resolution and 144Hz refresh rate. MSI redesigned the heat pipe system dito to effectively cool down the CPU and the GPU. It will be available ng Q1 this year according sa MSI. And there you have it. This has been Action and see you again next time guys for more tech news.